Hi everyone, this is Janice, the Crafting Geek, and I have, um, I'm going off of uh, my normal videos today. I had a request from one of my viewers. Um, they were asking me how I kind of go about the color selection when I make a card. And um, I'm basically going to show you how I um, decide, decide on colors from a card. So what I do is I go through my color, my paper. Um, I normally, I'll just go through paper. This happens to be um, K and Company specialty papers. I'll go through my papers and something will just kind of stand out and say, well, I want to make a card with that. So I take that and that's my jumping off point. So I look at the piece of paper and this is the one that I actually selected. Um, and I thought, okay, this is pretty. I'm going to make a birthday card from it, so I have to basically decide. And I go through my my solid card stock, and I see what papers are in there that will match. So um, in this particular paper, there's three colors that really jump out at me, and here's one. Here's the yellow. And this one jumped out at me and because of the yellow, and I had some ribbon, so I pull that up against it, and it's nice. It's not the. It's not really what I was going for. So I kind of put that aside. Um, then, so I thought, okay, well, yellow's not it. It's not really what I'm. I'm looking for in this card. So I put that aside. So then I take the next color, and the next color happens to be um, this salmon color here. And I'll pull out and I'll go through my ribbons and say, okay, well, there's some purple in here, and let me pull that. They look nice together, but it looks a little muted with this color. So I wanted something, and that almost blends too much. So the purple jumps out, but this kind of blends, so I wanted to have that color come out a little bit more. So then I go back through my paper again, and I picked out the green. And this isn't the same color green, if you notice. Um, it's actually a little bit, uh, just a shade, but there's really some tonal greens in here, and I just thought it, it picked up those colors nice. Um, there looks like there's about four different colors of green in here and I figured I would add another one to keep it in that tonal base. And that now that salmon flower really pops out and the yellow pops out along with the doily looking um, image that's on top of it. And then these purple flowers really popped out. So I really picked this. I love the purple with it. So that's really where I come across pulling all my colors in. So let me make a card based on that. Um, so I took a piece of cardstock eight and a half by eleven and I cut it in half, so it's and scored it, and it's now um, five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, and then this piece is um, five and oh my gosh, here you let, let me do this. I'm terrible. I know. This piece is five and a half. Whoops. No, five and three eighths by four and a quarter. So there's that piece. So let me, oh, you know what? Before I do that, I want to um, make the edges a little more decorative. So I just have this little cute little punch, corner punch that I use. And let me, and I will show you how I put my card together. Really simple. Oh, before I do that, oh, I skipped a step here. I am going to use some, um, and I think I'm going to go this way. I'm going to put some purple on this. Yes, I'm going to go that way. So let me cut this. I think I want it. Actually, yeah. Oops. Sorry, there's tape on the back, so I had to. There we go. Let me cut some of the edges off. This is, this is fun. I've had this. I don't know where I got this. Actually, I've had this fun yarn-like um, for a while now. Okay, here we go. And let me put this on. Now the card will open like that. Let's 
see now, you can see the card doesn't really distract from the images on the front. I just like that. It's fun. Um, the next thing I have is, oh, let me grab it. Here we go. I already stamped this. And this is a, and here's a piece of cardstock again. I pulled this. This is almost like a, um, a tan sand color. And I pulled it from the colors in the background. So I'm going to just put it in the center. But I have this stamp. And this is from Cloud9. Um, Fisker's Cloud9. And it says, the more you... It says, the more you make and celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. And it's from Oprah Winfrey. Um, it came on this. I reviewed this probably about a month ago. It's a stamp set that I got from scrapbook.com. And I just think it's a really elegant saying. And I'm going to pop this up. And I think this card is just great for any of your lady friends. They would appreciate this. Oops. Okay. Ooh. Okay, the dimensional tape is not helping me. There we go. There's one. Let me get the other one. Maybe I'm pulling out the wrong side. No. There's the other. Let me get this aside. This is a really quick card. Um, it was really just to explain how I go about my choosing. Oops, it's off a little bit. Trying to do this upside down is not easy. Here we go. And I'm going to just put this down straight away on top. And let me turn this upside down. And there we go. Now, as you notice, I did cover some of the flower, the purple down there, but it does peek out. So that is really how I go about choosing my colors um, based on the pattern paper. So, you know, there are some really pretty papers that are out there. And here's a good example. You can take a piece, piece of paper like this and pull that green right out or pull out a, the tan in the background. Um, again, you can even something that's tonal like this there's a little hint of a really pale pale pink or even a creamy color in the background you could pull that out and that's probably and let's take a look at these just giving some ideas and here we go and this would look really pretty on top of that yellow cardstock that i was showing you earlier if you take a look it now makes the, that yellow pop so you know, just take a look at your paper and just take cues from your paper. And that is how I really choose. It's really no science to it. It's what you like. That's the whole object of, first of all, it's the whole object of crafting, but it's what you like. So um, take out your um, pattern paper and just look through your pattern paper. That's probably my best advice. And take a look and see if something just kind of really you love a pattern and then take, go from there. Take a look at your, you know, I have an array of um, solid paper that I purchased from um, Paper Tray Inc. They have a sample package of all of their colors, and I buy that rather than stay with one particular color because then I can just pull out whenever I need. And each piece of cardstock can um, make two cards. So, you know, it's really nice um, when you get those assortments. So... Have fun, happy crafting, and remember to visit me at my blog um, the, at uh, craftinggeek.blogspot.com and I look forward to making more videos for you. So have a wonderful day and have a great week. Thank you.